what's up everyone and welcome to the channel uh, today I wanted to do a video discussing uh, the uh, mods that have been done to my car so far um, however I walked out into the garage and uh, while it's a nice balmy 33 outside um, I do have a heated garage so I came in expecting you know to be a nice warm and 60 some degrees inside the garage however this is what I was greeted with Barely over 40. So, that means that uh, unfortunately the heater in the garage is not working. I've been having problems with this heater off and on all winter. Um, so before I can do anything related to the car, I'm going to work on the heater to try to get things warmed up here. Because I don't feel like being out here in 40 degree weather. So the garage heater crisis uh, has been averted. Got the heater uh, running again. Uh, sounds like it's running somewhat normal and uh, at this point it is now a balmy 62 64 degrees here in the garage uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get to the point of today's video um, the original intent was I was going to take the car out of the garage and uh, wash it uh, hasn't been washed in probably a week and a half or so and it's been driven a little bit so it's kind of dirty um, and you see down there the grime behind the, the wheel um, so I do apologize I hate my car not being uh, clean but uh, you know like I said it's been a week and a half and uh, so originally like I said it was gonna take it out and wash it uh, but you know this is uh, this is what I'm working with right now um, you know it's roughly 32 degrees out right now and Raining its ass off. So, needless to say, the car is not going to be coming out of the garage. Uh, so, at this point, uh, instead of washing the car and then doing the walk around, I'm just going to go ahead and do the walk around of the car. Um, and it's going to be, you know, it is going to be, it's going to be what it is, right? So, uh, the intent of doing the walk around is to kind of highlight uh, the the modifications I've made to the car. Um, you know, most of these modifications are appearance in nature. Uh, I've only done a few mods that would be, you know, kind of considered performance based or, you know, uh, helping the, uh, the the car run better and that kind of stuff. So, uh, the first mod that I've done is the, uh, the very first mod I did was actually the uh, window tinting. Um, so, I believe that this is a 20% uh, tint in the back um, and uh, it is a... 35% tint uh, here in the front I'll pull out a little bit <laughs> pull out a little bit um, to show you kind of what it looks like from a distance um, the other mod that I did kind of quickly after getting the car um, involved I'll have to turn the lights off to make this uh, a little bit easier to see so uh, you know with the car being with the model or the name of the car being a Hellcat uh, and the car being you know pretty much red or, or orange in nature I decided it'd be pretty cool to actually have a uh, you know do the interior in red LEDs so I'm going to turn the light off here and open up the doors real quick um, so as you can see the the puddle lights uh, that you know light up the ground when the doors are open um, they are in fact red uh, you can see the uh, the dome lights are red there uh, the lights back and the grab handles in the back seat are red. Um, so it just gives the car generally a, a reddish glow, uh, you know, when you're inside the car and, uh, you know, on the ground outside the car. Um, this is actually a kit that you can get from Diode Dynamics. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description uh, below as to the actual website. I don't know that they sell all of the lights as an actual kit anymore. You have to buy them. Um, separately but uh, the uh, other thing I wanted to call out is the fact that in the challengers to uh, to replace the lights in the back uh, it's my understanding in the challengers that you have to actually remove the entire headliner to do that uh, in the chargers it's just a couple of screws that are in that handle uh, and then the handle comes down off of the ceiling and then you can just pop the light out of the back uh, so the charger owners do have a much easier time changing out most of the lighting, uh, if not all. Uh, the only problem here is um, 
this actual light right here which is a uh, in it's actually the map light so it comes on when you press one of the map buttons but when the doors are open this light and this light come on this is actually already an LED and uh, unfortunately you can't change it so that's why that's still white um, as part of the kit I also did change the uh, the lights for the visors I uh, made them LEDs but I did keep them the white color uh, you know the bright white the glove box. I also changed the LEDs um, And the trunk I changed as well Let me Turn the lights back off so you can see how bright uh, the actual lights in the trunk are these are the the actual uh, diode dynamics or LEDs as well. I replaced both of them with the uh, cool white color and you can see um, You know just how bright they make the trunk um, again, this is in a garage with you know pretty much all the lights turned off and you can see uh, you know how bright the actual trunk of the car is so I'm impressed with those lights so one of the other things I did was I replaced uh, my car is a 2016 um, I replaced the factory cat heads with uh, you know the outline cat heads uh, that's a gloss black cat head um, but uh, American Brothers designs I think also makes these um, and you can get them Either by searching their site directly or I think Speed Logics also uh, you can get their the American Brother design stuff through Speed Logic as well. Uh, so let's see the cat heads. Um, I did add these uh, splash guards, rock guards, mud guards, whatever you want to call them. And these particular ones are from JLT Performance. Uh, so that's the one on the front. That's the one on the back. Uh, you can see kind of as a profile uh, you know the tire um, actually does not come out past that um, so even when I had my 315s on the car uh, the one cool thing about these about having these flaps on the car is that uh, when I went to the track with the 315s I didn't have to tape up the rear quarter to worry about you know rubber kicking up from the from running out on track uh, you know the flaps caught all of it uh, since the tires themselves don't stick out past it uh, you really don't have to worry about it so that's the nice thing you don't have to worry about doing that uh, let's see here so recently um, I tinted the entire rear light assembly um, I actually have another video specific to this uh, this whole process um, which I will link to uh, above uh, for this video uh, so that was done recently uh, it's from Lux Auto Concepts um, I use a company called Reflective Concepts uh, they make these decals that go over top of the badging so you can see the badges have that uh, gloss black look instead of the fake plastic chrome look so I did both of the badges on the trunk there um, you can get those badges or those decals in any color so well, that's the back badge um, this is the front badge again it's also a decal from reflective concepts uh, I also have a video where I talk about the bat uh, the decals um, I'll link that above as well um, this actual uh, grill badge is actually a 2018 grill badge so I replaced my 2016 badge with that um, I actually have a video for that so I will link that above as well these are the current wheels on the car, the factory brass monkeys with the Pirelli All Seasons. Um, these over here are my uh, summer tire setup. So the two tires on the left are uh, 275 40s matching the factory size. The two on the right are 315s, uh, 315 35s. Um, they are on factory reproduction gloss black wheels. So let's see. So that's what the wheel itself looks like. They look just like the factory wheels, uh, but instead of being the satin or the matte black or whatever, they are the gloss black finish. Um, I, there's a couple of videos on my site regarding the summer setup and whether or not they fit right on the charger and, and all that stuff. So I'll link to that as well. Uh, so let's see. Uh, that's pretty much it from the perspective of kind of the appearance based mod. So now let me show you a couple of the performance mods. It does involve opening uh, the hood real quick. So there's my JLT catch can. Uh, two different videos on this 
on my site one uh, the installation and then recently within the last week I checked it for the first time and I was actually surprised about what was in there so I did a separate video specific to that um, one of the other videos uh, or one of the other uh, additions I've done I don't know if you'd call it a mod I would consider it a mod I'm sure I'll get heat from some people because it's not really a mod but uh, see I don't know if I want to take the air cleaner apart but let's go over here for a second so one of the things that I did was uh, toyed with doing uh, you know a cold air intake so either a leg maker or a beat woody or my preference actually is probably if I did it would be to be a JLT performance uh, new their new uh, cold air intakes uh, but what I did do in the interim was I ordered two high flow um, you know aftermarket filters uh, so this is an AFE power um, this is actually just a paper filter but it does allow more air through uh, so you know it's a slightly larger uh, pour in the paper so that you know it can you know more stuff more air can get through it and then I bought um, this this green filter uh, you know that's not the actual filter itself that's what the filter looks like um, and this is what's in the car right now the green filter is what's actually in the car right now so again I don't uh, want to take the air the uh, air box apart to show it to you I mean if somebody really wants to see it uh, post it in the comments and I'll do a second video opening it up and showing you what it looks like inside um, I personally think because it's a higher flow uh, air filter that there is a little bit more supercharger wine um, is it on the is it on par with like a leg maker or B Woody or the JLT you know, obviously not but uh, I do think it's better than the factory filter um, you know from the perspective of how much wine the supercharger gets uh, let's see so the only other real performance based mod is actually underneath the car I'm not really sure whether or not I'm going to be able to get a good video of this, but we'll try. So let's see here. <clears throat> right there on the differential, there is a brace. Um, that brace uh, was designed by a fellow Hellcat owner that decided uh, to design a brace for the differential. Uh, because a lot of, well, I don't know about a lot, but there were people that were uh, basically destroying their uh, differentials when they were running their cars at the track. Um, you know, the independent rear suspension allows so much flex with the differential and with the cars having uh, such high horsepower. You know, if you had a, a drag radial or a sticky, slick, or something like that on, uh, you know, it's possible to torque the uh, differential and actually break it. Um, so that in, uh, individual, um, he created it and he started selling it through the Hellcat.org uh, forums. And since then, it's become, you know, pretty much a, a pretty popular product. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description. I'll actually put links to pretty much all of the mods I've highlighted uh, in the description. So if you're interested in checking out those companies or you know ordering the products uh you know they'll be available um the performance brace or the uh, i'm sorry the differential brace uh the company uh the name is uh, performance development um if you're interested in that particular uh upgrade or a mod or whatever you want to refer to it as um you know just know depending on when your car was built uh will probably dictate how easy the install is um, apparently the 2015s and most of the 2016s depending on the build date the cross member uh, underneath the frame cross member that uh, that brace uh, bolts into uh, for those cars the 2015s and, and the early 2016s uh, there was actually already a nut kind of welded into that cross member box uh, so putting the brace in you're really just screwing into the nuts that are already there um, It seems like 2016 uh, probably in the September to October time frame my car was built in late September um, In that time frame and forward. I'm assuming the 2017s and the 2018s 
Uh, for some reason, Dodge removed uh, that, those bolts. Uh, so if you're going to install the brace, you then need to use the bolts that actually come with the kit. You will need to, um, uh, you know, find some means of getting those bolts into that box cross member and then also, uh, you know, being able to get something in there to tighten those, uh, the nuts up because, um, you know, they're locking threaded nuts. So you need to have something on there because, uh, you know, it's going to make it difficult to crank them down. So just something to think about depending on, you know, the age of your car and, and, and when it was built and stuff like that as to, you know, the ease of installation on that, uh, you know, differential brace. So that's pretty much the mods I've done thus far. Uh, I have a bunch of other mods that I plan on doing. Oh, one thing I forgot to show you was as part of the tail lights, um, I also tinted the uh, side marker lights as well. That's going to be changing soon. That uh, I have some uh, changes to those coming up. Um, so keep an eye out for that video. Uh, I also have some other mods uh, scheduled, um, an LED light kit for the engine bay from Diodynamics, uh, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, let's see, I do have uh, brake pads to change uh, to upgrade from the factory pads to the carbon fiber uh, Z26s, I believe I bought, or maybe the Z23s, can't remember which ones. Should cut down dramatically on the brake dust, especially on the front wheels. Uh, and then I did have, and it's not necessarily a mod, but it'll be something that I will also do in a video. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Got a terrible chip right there. Uh, and there's another one down here. And then there's also one down here. You might not be able to see it because of the shadows. But uh, I bought a, a touch-up uh, system. Well, I don't know if you call it a system. But it's called Dr. Color Chip, and it's supposed to make doing touch-up work um, a lot easier. So I'm going to do a video uh, when I go ahead and attempt to, um, to repair those chips. And then, uh, okay, I'm not sure why the lens is not focusing right. There we go. Sorry about that. A um, couple of other things I have is uh, I have... A pre-cut uh, PPF film to protect the front end. Uh, so that will be another video, uh, hopefully at some point, uh, for that as well. So um, that's the mod so far on the Hellcat. Um, if you have any questions about any of the mods, uh, installation, uh, cost, like I said, I'll put the links to the stuff in the video description. Uh, but if you have any you know, specific questions or anything like that, uh, go ahead and, and post comments. I do try to respond to all the comments I can. Uh, so thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel.